Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the new one on the channel. Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile. I have finally gotten it. It's been about a week now. Um, have a little tinker with it. It's a great game. Now, they seem to be sort of merging all of the Call of Duty games that we know and love into one ultimate mobile game and they seem to do a pretty good job with it now let's just go around first and have a little look uh, settings now there are two different types of settings so you've got simple mode which just shoots as you scan around or you've got advanced mode where you actually have a button to shoot i'm preferring simple mode but some will prefer advanced obviously Aim assist, things like that. Um, sensitivity and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. But well, that's not what we're here to look at. Um, wait, oh, it's just not cool. Right, so we've got from the top left, we've got you all the way down. I'm currently going for a second page. It goes up to, I believe, it's level 150. Um, we'll just a little check of that. Um, yeah, 150, the M4 LMG Crimson Vampire. Pretty cool. Now you've got your profile. Um, I've played three games, um, 51 kills, 3.4 kill death for sure. Um, I'm pretty proud of that, not gonna lie. Um, I got MVP in two of those three games as well, so I must admit I'm doing a lot better on this than I used to on Xbox Call of Duty. Um, 3.4 KD ratio, pretty damn good. Alright, player achievements, I've got Bronze, Assault Master, Hawkeye Killer, uh, Rest Assist, and Squish Street Master. I've got loads of badges, I mean I've had 10 customers already. I've seen double kills. Ten revenges. Pretty damn good. Right, so, I had three victories. Firstly, 11 kills, no deaths. Um, that was like a tutorial though, I will admit. Uh, second, I came second with 15 kills, 5 deaths. And then the last one, 25 kills, 9 deaths. Um, 25 kills, pretty good considering it's 50 to win, so I got half of the team's kills, so pretty impressed there. Now, what do we have in this? We have currently some events ongoing. We have the Lighting Up the World, which is just like a welcome to the game event thing, and it's just basically showing us where everyone's playing and how many matches have been played since the launch of the game last week. We've had nearly 150 million matches played. Um, as the world plays more matches, we'll get some rewards. I've already got collected the first four. There was a fifth one at 300 million. We don't know what it is yet. I'll be collecting my rest over. I've got rewards collected. So as you're killing people, you'll be collecting tags. The more tags you get, the more rewards you get. Plus, with that, there is also a leaderboard. Um, where those near the top of the lead will get more rewards. So just placing on that lead will you'll get a blue uh, uh, blue gun EXP. Uh, top 70% get three of those. Top 50% get the um, medic admin abnormality panel. Top 30% get that and mechanic abnormality panel. And top 5% get the S36 headless rider. Alright, um, weekly challenges to do. Oh, we've got some of these to collect, actually. Pretty sure this week's a killing people mostly. Using operator skills as well. We use chips for us at Battle Royale. Yeah, Battle Royale haven't been locked yet. Um, new player login rewards. Um, so, it's that. The game also has a battery pass, and I'm already tier 5, um, so, 
just like with Fortnite, you've got the normal battle with the normal battle pass and the premium pass, is what they call it here. Um, now, the free pass goes up to tier 100, and the main rewards are like the big reward is at tier 100, um, with also bigger rewards at 90 and 70. At 100, with the uh, normal pass, you'll get to, uh, type 25 pin stripes. And on the premium pass, you'll get the AK-47 red action. However, the battle pass in this goes up to tier 500. Now, the likelihood of you getting there is ridiculously low. But there are rewards there um, only on the um, actual battle pass. And they're just battle pass crates and they'll give you random stuff. And you'll get one per tier up until 500. Right. Then you've got these challenges that we'll, we'll have a look at the normal ones. So, my daily challenge and 10 medals done. Uh, the week one challenges we play two more player matches and win two more player matches done. Uh, you get some for the premium pass and then also kill 100 enemies in more player matches. I've yet to complete that. Then for week two, um, I've also got to add three friends. That's um, not happening. Put the other ones I've done. Um, you also have battle royale challenges, which I've obviously not done that yet because, like I say, I haven't unlocked it yet. But um, daily challenges, play a battle royale match. Week one challenges, play a battle royale match and kill ten, enemy, ten enemies in battle royale. And week two, land and pipe climb twice and reach the top fifteen twice. Now the rewards you're getting for some of those challenges, like the week two ones for battle royale, are four hundred medals each that's two full battle pass tickets it's impressive and then you've got like challenge ones as well which i think they are just meant to be challenges but they give a lot of rewards if you can do them so i'm pretty sure these will just last here for the entire season so for example the one that i'm pretty close on earn 80 medals in M uh mp matches so multiplayer 400 plan uh, battle pass token things for that so again two tiers almost got that right uh, you got your loadout clan leaderboard and ranked matches down the bottom I don't know how high you have to be to unlock ranked mode I must admit um, let's just have a little look at my loadout so far oh Right, we could possibly go into my loadout and upgrade my M4. Yes, we do. We'll just upgrade its latest six for now. So that is just unlocked for us the laser sight uh, and um, holographic sight. Uh, um. I'll stick to the red dots out for now. So, let's pop in and hold up the multiplayer. Now, at the moment, there are only five maps. Those are Crossfire, Crash, Kill House, Hijack, and my all time favourite, Meat Town. Uh, so we'll be sticking to new time for that. Now, I've unlocked five different uh, game modes. One of them is Practice versus AI. But then I've also got Frontline, Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Search and Destroy. Now, I must admit, Domination used to be one of my favourites. And um, Team Deathmatch. Frontline is decent. That's all I've played so far in my life. But I might try out Search and Destroy. I um, don't want a random map, we want oh, different maps on. Ah, now that's something I didn't know. You've got different maps for different game modes. So, we'll do domination then. I just want to see what time for now. So, all in all, the quality of this game it's pretty good, I must admit. There's a few little hitches here and there, but I haven't really noticed any myself. Um, 
It's a big game, although I will admit. I believe it was 1.2 gigabytes. But, um, that's not too bad. Capture the objectives. We're capturing C. Enemy taking Alpha. We captured Charlie. Enemy has A. Get down! Sniper! Sniper eliminated! I'll be honest. First game of Call of Duty Guardians here on the channel, fighting. and um, nice we went back. Nice 50 versus 43. Oh. I kind of forgot about this. You changed sides after. Okay, so kind of forgot that bit. But now we're at 50. They're at 43. It's a race to see who can hit 100. Now we obviously have the advantage because we got more points from the last round. Oh, let's capture Bill. That person was not affecting me too, though. <laughs> it couldn't let me throw my care package. Right, let's just throw it here. Care package inbound. I see you there. Oh, I've got my purifier now, so. We're capturing B. I'll use that to go and burn some people. We lost Alpha. We captured Bravo. Okay, that was highly effective. C. We won't talk about like how effective that just was. We captured C. We're capturing Alpha. Losing B. Missile on standby. All positions locked down. Positions. Captured Alpha. UAV online. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Losing Alpha. Losing A. Friendly package inbound. Predator missile inbound. So they can't take it. 
I've just got a trickle kill right there. Um, open side. Ooh, I don't think I opened it in time. But we're about to win anyway. 100 vs. 740. Yeah. That was a really good game, I missed it. That's how that went. The uh, triple kill with a predator missile was a little bit hard. Okay. Nice last kill, Kim. Right. Saving. Right, just take a little bit of time to figure out the game. Right, MVP of the game are uh, John. Alright, the second place person got 1,060 points. I got 2,420, so I more, more than doubled what the next best person on that team did. Level up from 5 to 6. Uh, 2,600 XP from that. 680 from kills, 1,415 from times, 419 from the win, and 125 from clan. Um, I nearly upgraded a weapon as well. Right. So, that was your example of the game, right? Go back into the notes. Oh, look, oh, you've unlocked a new pack. Vulture. Pick up ammo from kills. Equal to the magazine capacity of your current weapon. That's handy. Because I ran out of ammo. Uh, so it's handy to have that pack. Right, let's go into the season's battle pass. As you can see, that little warning sign at the top there. Click on it. And I've got a challenge here. And 80 medals in more power matches, 400 claims. Tier increase from 5 to 7. Right, what rewards do we get? We get 100 credits and a green XP card. So if I upgrade to Battle Pass, it gives me all of that. Now, I'm going to show you how much it costs. By premium pass, it costs 800 credits. Now, some of you might be wondering how much I should cost. It costs £10, so slightly more expensive than the Fortnite Battle Pass. But does it pay for itself? Now, that is a good question. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, or 40, 170. You've got 200 by the time you get to the tier 39, so you've got to do work to get it back. 240, 280, 320. 360 for 10 by 63. Now they design it so you've actually got to work if you want more. So 410, 460, um, 510, 560 by 279. Then all of a sudden it shoots up. So 620, 680 by 283. Then no, uh, 740. 800 by 93 and you don't get any more so what does that conclude you get 800 to buy the premium pass in the premium pass you gain 800 so it pays itself off with none left over um is that a good thing might be might not be you probably wouldn't notice it because you're getting a lot of rewards at the same time you've got these crates you've got Avatars, you've got character sprays, parachutes, you've got all this stuff that you wouldn't really get. So, it is a worthwhile exchange if you're willing to spend that money in the first place. If not, maybe well, not. Now, I'm going to talk about my clan. I've made a clan called YouTubers underscore UK. I'm the one person in it as of the moment, but um, I have got some people considering joining. Now, yeah. okay, um, the international society is put out on the way around there. Um, but yeah, if you at home are watching this video and decide that you want to join the clan, this is currently open. Um, so that's where I'm going to end the video for today. Thanks for watching, I know it was a bit of a different one, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the first Call of Duty video here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.